Konnichiwa, and welcome to Jurassic World Alive. Oh, it has been an interesting week, hasn't it? We've had our chance to dart all of, well, Indoraptor and a few other legendaries, as well as two uniques, that being our Dentist Maxima and Quetzalcoatl. So which one did you go for? I'll, I'll tell you which one I went for, our Dentist Maxima, because that's what I'm going for. As far as the legendaries go, I, uh, well, I'll show the footage. I think it's... Somewhere there. Is it there? It could be there. It's definitely not there, because that's that, that's that's suggested videos, isn't it? Unless you're on phone. In which case, it's probably the toilet floor, because that's probably where you're watching this in the bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know what you're doing. Um So, uh yes you can see, I did an amazing job of dodging Interruptor, not really. Uh <laughs> Interruptor's a really hard one to dodge, but out of all of the ones, it was either Indoraptor Gen 2 or Phosphor, Phosphor, that, that one, the Terra Bird Hybrid, that one. But I decided we're going to be getting uh, blue DNA. I'm going to be getting, how much is it? 4,000? 4,200. And I'm Indoraptor Gen 2 as much as I hate it. It's a good dinosaur. I hate it. I hate it, though. I don't want to use it. But anyway, this week we have ba -da -ba -da -ba, a Jurassic World 2015 event because we just had the two year anniversary. As you can see, my hair is very floppy. Look at that. It's so long. It's so floppy. Oh, dear. And it's all itchy. Oh, no. <laughs> so what do we have? We have from Monday to Wednesday. The comments are nothing too special. They're things you can find, a Patasaur, Stegosaur, Dimorphodon, and Triceratops Gen 2. The uh, res are Charlie Delta Echo. And Saturday, this is what you want to look out for. This is like Indoraptor Gen 2 week, including like last week just gone. Uh, on Saturday, Blue and T-Rex. Six chances to dart any of them. So really, six chances to dart Blue. Because that's what you're going to go for, isn't it? W would you go for anything else? Probably not. Uh, and Sunday, one chance to dart Indominus Rex. Um, there's the gyrosphere incubators going around. So I'm assuming that you'll probably get all of those that are up there, including Blue, in those incubators. I think on Friday, um, we have a legendary incubator. Uh, I can't really tell what that is, but it's a special. It seems like on Friday you always get like a like a special epic incubator where it's like you got 200 of some dinosaur. But for the most part, everything seems to be normal. I think we've got a sauropodia or sauropod um, uh, scent that is on the Monday and the Thursday and the Saturday. But I'm glad that at least we're, we're, we're darting blue. We're going to see a lot of Indoraptor Gen 2s come out. But that is not all that we have for news. No, 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 no. Definitely not. So first off, and something that is good, I think, um, we're getting a stat boost refund uh, coming up. This is from Jurassic World Alive. Um, as we continue to work on the upcoming summer update, we'd like to help you prepare by keeping you in the loop regarding some of the changes involved, with many creatures and ability alterations on the way. Hence the reason why we're getting this stat change. Um, we are aware of your concerns in regard to stat boosts. In the new update, each creature's stat boosts will be refunded. This will give you the opportunity to redistribute them so that you may match them with the new changes that are implemented. Great! Fantastic! Because, good lord, I've, I've, I think I've only ever refunded a dinosaur stat boost once because it's not worth it. It's really, it really isn't worth it. And I think it was some, I think it was an Indoraptor. I think it was Indoraptor that I put like one uh, speed boost on it. I was like, oh, let's take that off. <laughs> but everything else, um, I, I'm just, I was waiting for something like this. So whatever you've uh, boosted your creatures, you're going to get a refund. Now I hope, fingers crossed, that we do legitimately get our stat boosts back. So they get like, and they don't do it manually. Because when this first happened, I think Ludia just gave everybody a set amount of stats to use. Um, but I'm hoping that it would be really cool if they did that and they just get everyone a set boost. But then again, people might have spent money to get the stat boost. In other words, and in short, stat boosts, if you love them or hate them, aren't going anywhere anytime soon. The next big news, this is really big news actually, to battle mode. 
That's the one. Hold on, let me find this. <laughs> New co-op mode. So, to kick off your weekend, we are ecstatic to share that our Jurassic World Live team is hard at work to bring you a new update in the summer. Next update will introduce a new cooperative battle mode where you'll face off against dangerously powerful new creatures with your alliance and friends. Bread for destruction. These fearsome opponents are designed to challenge even the most experienced team players. So, practice hard in campaigns and get your creatures ready. So, is that a hint towards like more Lord Lithornix and stuff like that? That would be cool. I I want to see stuff like um, Juggernaut from Jurassic World the game and Omega 09 in this. That'd be cool. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did bring them into it, like a boss battle. Uh, your existing dinosaurs will see some changes in order to adapt to the upcoming co-op mode. So you won't need to go out and find it, a bit like with Pokemon Go. You won't need to go to a gym to participate. You won't need to, because of course the quarantine's still going on. Again, big thanks to Ludia for keeping that Giga Scent in the game and keeping darts being bought in the game as well. Um, but this is the biggest. This is a really big update. This is the new creature families. Well, there. We recently announced, of course, the battle mode. Come in Jurassic World Alive. We're very excited by the community reaction so far. Thank you so much. With that being said, we want to introduce the new families with co-op abilities that are designed to support the upcoming com competitive battle mode. Today, we're revealing three of the creatures or three of the creature families with you. So first up is the Stegosauridia family. So this includes Carnotaurus, Woohoosaurus, Tojongosaurus, Stegosaurus, Stego God, Stegodus, uh, Miragaya, Kentrosaur, and the the countering decelerator one, the Tsundabe, whatever it's called. So what you get with this decelerates the whole opponent team with area effect Thagomizer. Stegosauridia that counter attacks now mostly focus on deceleration instead of armor piercing. This is a big deal. Um, this is a big change to Miragaya. Uh, Miragaya is a dinosaur that everyone would use just to get like a counter hit off. And it would shield, counter hit off, slow them down, and then do like regeneration. Kendrasaur, uh, Carnotrochus, uh, the Sun Doctorus thing, whatever it is. They all countered, some did rendering damage, some did decelerating damage, and Kendrasaur just did uh, like uh, armor piercing. These now will only focus on deceleration. So I'm wondering whether they all just do deceleration and hit, counter, but won't do the armor piercing. So that's a bit, if Carnotrochus doesn't do this, and I've seen it used in the high ups, high up leagues, that's that's a big, big difference. That's if so, like loads of people have maxed that up, that's gonna be like uh, a waste of coin. Um, so don't let this group of herbivores fool you. They will completely slow down your opponent's entire team with the use of the area effect Thagomizer. Now I don't know how long that lasts for. If that's like all game, that's that's scary. Now obviously this means that you have to have uh, the full team of them. Or, well, maybe you have to have three in a team? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, th seven, eight. Is that enough for a full team? Yeah, that's enough to actually have your full team as. Next, uh, we've got the counter attacking medium theropods. Stuff like Carnotaurus, Megalosaurus, Majungasaurus, and stuff that's more commonly used, like the Dejungasaura thing. Um, and what do we get here? The medium theropods taunt the opponent's team, teams attack while deploying shields, counter, oh sorry, shields. Counter attacks specialize in anti-tank, ren shattering and or armor piercing. So, mm, I'm not too sure what that means. Maybe they all get the ability? Maybe, I, I, it doesn't really leave much. It's like, well, they all do that though. At least with the Thagomizer, you got like, oh, well, it decelerates the whole team. The end, like the opponent team. This one's like, well, they, they do that anyway. And we'll have to see what that one looks like. Uh, and the next one, damage increasing medium theropods. Uh, this one makes more sense, like the theropod. Give damage increasing fear hair. I can't even talk. Ferocious buffs to whole team. Perform defense shattering attacks. So you you know you have like Baronix and stuff like that. There's only like four of these. There's Baronix, um, Baronix Gen 2 Irritator and I can't remember, Tristornix, I think that is. So all these dinosaurs have that like ready to whatever it's called. And they do a lot of damage. But it looks like they give it to the whole team. Now, if this is like a constant thing, these are definitely gonna change up how these dinosaurs are used, like so much. 
um, we'll definitely see Tristornox being used as just like a setup. You'll probably die in like two hits, but at least you'll set up and then if it lasts, it can't last for the whole battle or else everyone would be using this. That would be crazy. Um, you'd have to have you'd have to have nullifying dinosaurs or something like or cleansing dinosaurs. You'd have to, um, and that is right now three of the families, three of the families that they're going to showcase to us. There's probably going to be more. I mean, definitely they said only three so far. So there's going to be like the raptor. I'm sure like they'll all have uh, like a pounce ability that will decelerate the whole team for 50 for like you know 50 percent for god knows how long there'll be the t-rexes but you know i mean we've seen the scents and these are the scents but now they they do more than just bring dinosaurs uh and i'm glad that ludia are actually seeing that people will be annoyed if they can't move their stat boosts over uh giving everyone like a fair chance it, i i really would like them not to be you know boost stats in the game like mods or whatever you want to call them stat boosts but they're here to stay, and Ludia have made that very clear. Uh, when, I mean, even when they first came in, everyone hated them. There was huge backlash. They gave everyone, like, refunds and stuff. Um, and they, they slowly brought in, like, oh, you can buy them. And yeah, it's, it's microtransactions. This game is hands down pay to win, uh, <laughs> which is such a shame uh, when it, it could have been, like, not that. <laughs> it could have been fair. And, you know, you only get so many boosts, so you can only get, you know, it's a fair playing field. But it's not, it's not. It, it, it was for a while like, oh, if you play loads, then you'll be fine. But now it's like, well, if you just got lots of money, then every, how, how is it every two days or something? When do we get these special events? Where, where are the stat boosts? Every day. Every day. So let's, okay, every two days, you can boost a creature. Because 50 and 50, that's, you know, 100. Now that's thousands upon thousands of bucks. It's thousands of pounds. Low, more than thousands of pounds if you do this, you know, if you kept on buying books. Because I haven't bought books or bought anything on this game, except for VIP, in months. Months, of, like, I can't remember. You probably go back to episode 12 or something when I bought incubators or whatever. And I've got 7,000 books, and yes, I've bought Epic Sense and stuff. But for a person who just wants to free, free to play, VIP is good for me just because it means I can dart more. I mean, if I play the game, I get more darts and I get more resources, so it makes more sense to me. But anyway, anyway, it's, it's, just, it's just frustrating to see it because here, here's a reason. Now, my leaderboard, my highest, I had this two days ago. 5,869 trophies. I am now down to 5,636 trophies. And I was almost down to below 5,600. I was almost back into uh, the tier below. Um, and it's it's weird because one day I was against people that weren't as good as my creatures, whether it's stat boosts or levels. And I was just going up and up and up. Last night, I spent two hours straight, 200, almost 300 cups, two hours. 10 losses, if not more, in a row. Do you know what that does to a person? It makes them not want to play the game. There's just no, like, you think you get to a point and you go up, down, up, down, up, down. But I, I got to a point and went, da, 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 da. It's like, how does this happen? How? Either the game needs, like, balancing in some sort of way or I don't know, man. I, I don't know. It was weird. I'm not blaming, like, oh, these guys had more stats than me. I'm like, how does the game put me up like, oh, this is where your stat, your level is, and then you, then you face up against the people that just absolutely trans you. Either way, that's what happened to me. I don't know how you guys are faring. Uh, I was like, I, need, I just need one more battle, and I'll, I'll get, how much is it? Because if I went up to 5,900 trophies, which I was, you know, close to, like two battles away, I'd get another 400 blue DNA. Pretty good. Uh, then I lost like 300 trophies, so... That happened, um, but the tournament is here, um, and thankfully, oh god, why are we to the left? What is going on in here? Well, anyway, um, so last time this was out, um, we won, I think it was this incubator, but they decided that not, since not even the top tier um, rewards were met by the, the highest alliances, um, they decided to half the entire amount you needed. So now you only need six, 650,000 points. And 
Not even Apex Predators got it. Uh, not even Killer Raptors, which are very active game press. And we work with Killer Raptors for the 20th Sanctuary, so thank you. Um, so, but, 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 I'm saying that, we are on the reward tier 7. And so, even though we do have a few members that have, we've got one member that didn't even contribute. So, we have a good chance of even getting the tier 8 reward, which would give us 250 of that. But, we get 200. It's not an unlock, if I remember right, you need 250. But, it's, it's close. And it gives you the resources, and you need these, I think you need those creatures, do you, to, to fuse it? So... Hey ho, there it is. You can kind of use it. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Um, finally, this last battle arena I'm happy with. I love it. It's, well, apart from the levels, I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's still like not all everything's level 26. So every now and again, you will face like a level 30 pro Soratomimus or a level 30 Sarko Tricks or whatever it's called. But th these are this is what happens. But before we get into that, look at it. Look at it. Oh, yes, we did it. Magnetator level 30. Oh my god, finally. Oh jeez. They're so good. So good. And now I can take from 5,000 sorry, 4,666 health and 1,944 attack to above and beyond! Oh yep, 2,000. 2,000 attack for Magnetator. Oh my god, that's it. Max done. I am so pleased. Uh, our Dennis Maxima, well, you know, level 29. Still takes us pretty high with that health. Almost 8,000 health. Now, these mods are going to be taken off and I'm going to get loads of refunds. So, it's going to be interesting to think, like, ooh, what should we go for next? Um, I will do just a couple more fuses on this guy because we're going to need it. The final push. We're on the final lap now for our Dennis Maxima. Getting it to level 30. I do have um, one more creature to make. Oh, there you go. That's good. That gives us an extra pop. Five pops for another Ardennus Maxima. But that's not going to get us to level 30 unless each one's 100. Um, and even then, no, because we need 750. So I do have one more creature. Um, I've been thinking in my spare time, like, on the sanctuaries, just getting this. Because this is the only creature that you can get from buying at the moment. You can't get it in incubators. You can only get it in the market or sanctuaries. So if you have this creature, this is because somewhere along the line... Really, 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 really far back. Somebody bought it, put it in a sanctuary, and then everybody um, fed it and got their own and then put it in another sanctuary. So the unsung heroes, probably there's only like a, a handful of people that did it, and then it all got shared out. Thank you. But now I have 1,300 of it, because I've just, when I've had loads of resources left, I'm, uh, I'll just get that, because eventually things will have a hybrid. And because this is so hard to come by, we only have three more left. And one of them has been here for a while. I'm on a rhino. And the other two are kind of new. So that's not too bad. I'm pretty... That's a, I think that's the lowest amount of hybrids I've needed left to get. And this one, we're, we're getting there. Because we just need Mammotherium. But how about we uh, we take that tournament out for one last go. See if we can get some cups, shall we? Let's do it. Let's see if I can get some losses. Give me Pro Ceratomimus. Or my level 24 T-Rex. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? I'm having to start to wear hairpins in me hair. I can't work out with it. Because, like, if I'm working out and I'm jogging, it's, like, in my hair. Look at that. This is horrendous. <laughs> I know I could have Whitney cut it, but I don't trust that. <laughs> so, let's start with the one that does not allow them to swap out. Ooh, yes. Sarco... Sarco Rixis. Ooh, smile it on. Ooh, interesting, interesting. He's a lot quicker than me. Precise pounds. Oh, we've definitely... We've killed it. It's dead. Um, oh, my God. Because it's... Oh, oh, well, there we go. We would have killed it in one hit, but... Of course, the pounds. Forgot about that. But we do get the ferocious impact. So, that's a thing. Uh, is it immune to stuns? No, it's not. I'm, I always double check these days. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. Um, evasive strike. Hmm. Should have went for the stun then, shouldn't I? Should have. Um, oh, even with the dodge, we still somehow managed to get it. So, oh, his own and it's boosted and it's level 30. We've lost. There you have it. We've lost. Fantastic. <laughs> That's all it takes. That's all it takes. There's one guy who uses this normally. And that's it. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. There's, there's nothing we can do. We've lost. I'm just gonna... Should we just skip to the next battle? Yeah, let's skip to the next battle. Okay, see you guys later.
Just in case you didn't guess, yes, I lost that. I I lost it 3-1. Oh my god. <laughs> now, that's kind of what battles are like normally with stat boosts. It's great, isn't it? Fantastic. Well, at least now we've got the Proceract Mimer, so we would stand somewhat of a chance against the Sarkarix. Um, should we just go for... Let's go, let's go for an Ekosaurus Gen 2. I really should just have Thera, though. Um, oh, he's... Does he have a speed boost? He doesn't, but he does have regeneration. Uh, he's immunity, though, so we may as well just go for... Oh, he swaps! Oh, a Carbonemis! Interesting, interesting. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I'll just go for a big hit anyway. You can definitely recover that. Um, hmm. What should we go for here, guys? What should we go for? You know what it is? I've kind of just got to take this, like, hit, and I've just got... Elicosaurus has just got to die. Um... Unfortunately, there's <laughs> there really there really isn't much I can do. Yeah, I thought he would go for a dig in. I thought so. That's why I didn't go for my uh, rampage. I was expecting that. God, I've got this blooming tortoise just screaming in my ear. I'll have to turn that down. <laughs> Aha! I've got my speed boost now, son. Go for your devastation. But at least I'll do some damage to you. There you go. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, wait, what? Wait, really? Oh, does he just want, like, to get his dig in? I assume. Oh, he goes for a devastation. He should have just went for devastation anyway. He would have killed me, right? Yeah, 1,800. I'm pretty sure that would have been just a, a, a kill. Um, right, so should we just have Pro Ceratomimus come in? I think we should, I mean, what I do 2,000 and odd damage. Yeah, we'll just have Pro Ceratomimus come in. I could have had T-Rex, but I kind of just want to save T-Rex. He can't go for Devastation. Diggin's the only thing he can do. And even then, I can... Can I kill him in two hits? Depends how much he recovers from health. Mm, yeah, maybe. No, I can't. <laughs> I, have to, I have to go for this big hit. I have to. Okay. I, I think I've won. Unless he's got another level 30 epic just waiting in the wings. Or a level 30 epic. Like his own Proceratomimus. Um, or like uh, the Sarko one. That, I mean, from this, the biggest worries have been that. The uh, the Sarko. So we, we'll go for this. Then we'll go for a... Oh! Oh, well, I'll take it. He do, oh, even he doesn't get it. 5% chance I get my crit. And 20% chance for him. 30% he didn't get his. Oh, that's unlucky. But... If anything, I guess it's just speeding it up because this is... I mean, th this is what these battles have been. It's like, as soon as I faced up against that level 30 Sarko, I was like, I've lost. And then as soon as he faced up against this, he's like, I've lost. God damn it. Well, there you go. So I lost 3-1. He loses 3-1. There you have it. Except for I only got 20 now. I, I think I lost like 30 odd or something. But let's... Should we try one more? Maybe I'll get the 24 T-Rex and the level 30 Sarko. I was there we go. Oh, yes. Yes, there we have it. Beautiful. Let's put a T-Rex in. Let's do T-Rex. What's the worst that can happen? An Indominus Rex Gen 2? Is that the worst? Um, I mean, if he goes for Cloak, I, he could be tempted to go for Cloak. Yeah, he's going to go for Cloak. I mean, I need to get a crit and go through the Cloak to kill him. Thought that was it. <laughs> I thought that was it. Okay, so now he's gonna go for a big hit. Um, so 1,800. But we may as well. I mean, should we? Should we fodder off Sino? I'll fodder off Sino. I, I could take the hit onto Pro Ceratomimus, but then that's still 1,800 with a potential crit chance. Uh, I'd rather just fodder off Pro. Uh, sorry, Sino. Uh, if he does get a crit, I'm dead anyway. <laughs> uh, so he knows we've got a T Rex. Um, let's put in. Pros for our Have a little setup, shall we? This is one of the reasons why I like Dino Charis. Because Dino Charis, you could, like, set up, um, like, in this situation. And next time, you could go for the, uh, the stun. Um, greater stunning. Or you could go for... Okay, this guy's lost. He knows he's lost. Uh, you could go for the stun, or you could go for the rampage and run. Yeah, he, he, he's... That was a quick switch, and he was like... <laughs> he's like, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Diplodocus! Oh, fantastic, beautiful, nullifying, nullifying, nullifying. 
Oh, I feel, I, I feel, it does feel bad. But in a way, like getting your um, epics up to level 20 takes a lot of coin because it's a lot of fuses. It's, it, it, oh, it's, oh, it's horrible. Um, and this is the only one I've got up to level 30. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. There's another, <laughs> another three. Has everyone else been like this? Just either losing 3-1 or winning 3-1. Uh, ooh, is that new? Look, still not a high enough rank. Oh, God, I lost so much from that first one, I think. Um, 232 is the highest I've ever got. Shall we get higher? Let's do one more. Let's see. What we tempt fate. Let's see if we can lose 3 1, shall we? Yeah, spit on the camera there. Looking more and more like a scruff. Get a good be. I would. Everything's close. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take this. Oh, uh, should we put the Sarko? Yeah. If this is level 30. Woo! Oh, it's level 30. Oh, he's going to go for bleed. Is he going to go for the bleed? I think he might go for the bleed. Well, you know what? I'll take that trade. That level 24... Ooh. Sometimes people use that at level 30 because it can be a bit of a health tank. Yeah, at least it would. I thought as much. I thought as much. I'm okay. I'm happy t trading Sarko. Uh, in this circumstance, uh, Green Becky is my, uh, my win. So... Green Becky's my win condition. He's probably going to go for instant distraction, actually. Sodom. Sodom. No. I'm expecting him to go for instant distraction. I'm not falling for it. Because he wants me to bleed out. I think. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Beavers. James Beavers. <laughs> that was my James Bond move. <laughs> you thought it had a barbie came out of nowhere. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, Jesus did not expect a level 29 Inasuchus. Is it Inasuchus? Oh, what is this? Inasuchus? Ina oh my god. Whoa. Oh no. Um, right, so I, I mean, he'll expect me to go for the big hit and he'll just go for like dig in or whatever it is because it has a dig in. I'm just going to go for regular. Oh, he didn't expect me to go for dig in. Ah, okay. Okay. He's going to go for ferocious strike, which is only one times damage. So it's 100, 1,500. Bah, bah, easy. Um, oh, dig it. Now he goes for the dig. Well, I'm sorry, pet, but you're dead. Unless digging gives you like half instead of 25%. Nope, it's dead, I think. Is it 950? Is that no? Yes, it is. It's a whoa. Almost double. Right, okay. Well, okay, that was his win condition. Was the Inosuchus, I think. Maybe this guy just has a really good team for this tournament, like an Inosuchus and that Irritator and... Ooh. Ooh, is that so? Hmm. Well then, you're, I'm expecting him to go for instant destruction again. We've seen him do it once before, right? So I'm expecting him to do it again. So, with that in mind, let's switch out. Oh, I mean... Oh yeah, I was immune. That was lucky. <laughs> I'm still not used to facing this. I'm still not used to facing this. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he couldn't have done it instant destruction, could he? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Damn it, James! I'm a mute! You couldn't have done it! Oh my god! Well, he's dead anyway. He's dead in one hit. He's got less than 2,000 health. And he doesn't have... Oh, a crit and a crit for that! Really? Really? Right, okay. Well, we'll just go for the instant charge. And then go for a digging. And then go for a deceleration. If we're not dead at that point, then we go for another instant charge. But apart from that, let's see how we do. This could be a 3-0 win. He does have his Irritator, which is almost dead. But I'm expecting my Sino to die. I'm expecting it. Um, I mean, we could switch out now. Could go for the turtle. But I'm okay. I, I, I don't mind losing Sino. I do not mind losing Sino. At this point, his, his best bet was just to try and do a normal hit. And then get the counter with the Becky. That's what he was hoping to do. But... Not happening. <laughs> now it's dead. It doesn't matter what this thing does. Oh, how dare you? How dare you? I will slow you down, boy. Is it going to go for instant destruction? You could probably kill me if you did that. But mm, instant destruction is how much? Oh, 33%. Oh, yeah, that could kill me. Yeah, he's going to go for it. Yeah, uh, well played. Well played. Uh, that's, that's the smartest move he could do. But Becky's going to come in and kill you anyway, so... Unless he doesn't kill me. Oh, yeah. I thought so. I thought that looked like it was just, just below. 
So in comes Becky. Good girl. And I, even if you could have Draco Ceratops, I think I would still survive. There's nothing he can do here. Nothing. Even a regular hit from a beggar would kill him. And uh, there you go. So going to be another 3-1 victory, I think. Look, I've had my own share of 3-1 losses. Okay, it's, other people can have it too. <laughs> Diplotator! Um, what can you... Ooh, 1.5 damage at level 30. Ooh, ooh, and... Oh, I mean, he, he can't... Yeah, yeah. I mean, there you go. I'll just go for that. I mean, there's nothing that... I th could I have went for my normal hit? I think I could have went for my big normal hit, couldn't I? Because I finished him with a regular hit. Beavers, you've misplayed like so... Look, the guy's like, will you just kill us? <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, that was awful. Beavers. Oh, it was horrendous. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. We're in the top 2,000, which I think means we get another... another yeah, 375 now to not Rex. Uh, well, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm happy with that. Whether I drop down a little bit more, it's Tanada Rex. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Tanada Saurus. Uh, but if you enjoy this video, leave a like. Uh, good luck on Dotting Blue, because I'm pretty sure that's what you're going to go for. And Indominus Rex. And until next week, on Monday, I can say that in this episode, I'll see you later. Oh, description below. Click the link, get 50 bucks, and I'll see you later. Bye.